Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. Okay, so uh, this is going to be Capricorn Sun, Capricorn Moon and uh, Capricorn uh, Rising Weekly Tower Reading for July 29th to August 4th, 2019. And uh, bear with me a second guys to shuffle the tarot cards and we're gonna jump right into it. Alright, so the first card which stands for the topic of Capricorn week is going to be the Ace of Pentacles, just like with the Sagittarius one. Then the next one which stands for the challenges that you need to overcome, guys, uh, that is going to be the uh, Knight of uh, Wands. Followed by the third card which represents the uh, positive aspect of the week here, we do have the Queen of Wands. And then the final card that stands for the guidance that Tarot is offering to you, Sagittarius. Uh, Capricorn, excuse me. This is going to be uh, the Four of Cups. So it looks like that this week you are gonna have to deal with very insubordinate person. It's it's just it's it's ridiculous. I mean, a person who constantly gives excuses for for everything and for a reason being is that you know they have to exert efforts behind. Now, because my manager is a Capricorn. I to see myself as that insubordinate person. That's just, oh my God, I don't know, but it does look like that my manager is about to destroy me with, I would say new ideas or um, how do you say it? It's not like demands, but let's say a work that I will have to do. Anyway, so yeah, uh, apart from that Capricorn, that week, uh, it looks like as the Ace of Pentacles always preach on the uh, positive, uh, on the uh, general topic here of the week itself is going to be rather quite of a productive week with a solid progress that you are to make in regards to your, uh, to your endeavors. So let's run down the cards one more time and we're going to jump right into scrutinizing them. Ace of Pentacles, it is the topic, followed by the Knight of Wands, which stands for the challenge. Afterwards, it's going to be the Queen of Wands, which stands for the positive aspect. And then the final one is going to be the Four of Cups, which represents the, uh, the Guidance. So Ace of Pentacles, as usual, this card as a, a very, very general card, it points to the opportunity to further your project, to further your relationship, to further your goal in general. So whatever comes to your mind throughout the week, you are going to experience a lot of content and as well, you are going to be very proud that you came up with this either idea, structure, uh, uh, performance and etc, etc, etc. So whatever you are working upon throughout this week, it looks like that it will be either successful for your business or is going to be very, very positive for your relationship as well. The accompanied card here, Capricorns, is going to be the um, Knight of Swords formation. It is a, a passive enemies that we do have. However, guys, you will have to hold down your horses, right? It will take more than you are 
Uh, I won't say willing to sacrifice for it, but more than you are anticipating for the very least. Now, it does look like that your enthusiasm is going to be very, very uh, boosted. It's kind of going to be like on, a, uh, on steroids, right? And for some reason, you may miss uh, your important details along the way. A, a very, um, how do you say it? Um, a vital piece of the puzzle. You may not think it very thoroughly. You may not think it through, which may cause a setbacks moving forward into the future. So for that reason, this week you should be relying on the motto hard and slow. All right, hard and slow progress. Um, <clears throat> so um, an important thing is not to be biased in regards to your emotions. Just to give you an example, and I will give example with myself. So let's say my manager approaches me with this idea, all right? Or uh, because now we are uh, we are um, preparing, you know, uh, tarot courses. Now I see that what my manager is going to do is going to send me an email. What should I do in those courses? And I ain't going to like it, you know, and I will going to go and give another suggestion and it's going to go back and forth. All right. And while your idea Capricorn or rather your drive, it's a very either lucrative or productive in these, in these kind of stuff. Uh, you have not thought it thoroughly, like I said, to its very maximum. And for that reason, you shouldn't rely much on your, um, your emotions and biased uh, standpoint to, uh, to force your opinion, okay? That, that's the whole point. But allow yourself to um, take a deep breath and think very well, you know, uh, objectively upon the situation. Try to scrutinize it objectively as much as you can. So that leads us to the next card, which is the challenge here. And we do have uh, the uh, Knights of Wands, a very enterprising person, all right? Someone who is willing to do whatever it takes uh, to um, cross the finish line, all right? Or to make their endeavors or their dreams to come true. Usually a person who surprises with uh, rather very un unorthodox um, maneuvers and unorthodox actions. And that is what is going to scrape down your nerves, really. Because you make your proposition, all right? And that person comes around with a completely different point of view. And you say, what? I mean, are you, are you kidding me? That is for a reason is because this one isn't afraid to try this one. It's it's not like, it, well, I would say it's like a joke for them. It's like something that if happens all right, if it doesn't happen, well, it's all right as well. And uh, that is pretty much how we, we stand right now with me and my manager, which is something that I need to fix for myself. But... Um, how you can overcome the uh, the Knight of Wands? Well, you need to know that uh, Knight of Wands burns out uh, usually very, very quickly. So uh, just don't confront them straight away. Don't try to traverse their opinion. You know, let them think about what you are proposing. Also work over your proposition as well or of your over your suggestion, that is, uh, as well. So you can reach a, a common ground while the Knights of Wands, it is uh, very passionate and, and, and kind of like a, a very, uh, like I said, eager and challenging. It's not unreasonable, guys. So the reason um, at the end of the day is going to speak to this person as long as reason speaks to you as well. The accompanied card here is going to be the Ace of Cups. Mm. So the formation here, it is a um, active enemies that we do have. And yeah, the, the Ace of Cups only strengthens the, um, the standpoint that this person that you are trying to get in a cooperation with uh, it's it's simply how can I place it? It's it it will see that what you are suggesting will make no difference whatsoever. So you have to prove them wrong that what you are suggesting will make a difference. Okay. 
and what you are suggesting is actually the 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 niche the fulcrum that you both need to press on so you can make a significant progress moving forward either regarding career or either regarding relationship so you do have a lot to overcome throughout the week capricorn and do not lose your mind over it guys if it's it's not budging out at the very first attempts of yours just give it time to uh to um form sense okay that that's the whole thing it needs to form sense you propose someone and you get rejected straight away well leave it that way for a couple of days and you will see that in a couple of days the person you made your suggestion at is going to have a change of heart or it will going to start leaning to having a change of heart okay the more you arguing about it the more you are trying to convince them that they are wrong it's going to have the more negative impact upon uh, upon the situation itself. So that leads us to the next card, which is what is the positive aspect of uh, the week. And that is you guys. I mean, that is the Queen of Wands this time around does not represent a person, but it does represent you and your um, acute business sense. It does represent your uh, complete understanding into the nature of the subject, into the nature of the situation, into the nature of life, if you want to say it that way. Even on top of that, with the Queen of Wands this week, especially if you are dealing with a rival, all right? So, uh, you have a rivalry, you do have someone as an enemy. Well, that card points that this week you are going to obtain leverage. You will know how to press certain buttons there to take the upper hand it is in an awesome card but definitely it does speak that you are going to become proud of your achievements and you're going to become proud of what you could have came up with one more thing about the card here it is that as a positive thing it will be best if you try to enjoy your life a little bit more you know enjoy your dinner enjoy your beverage enjoy enjoy the time you spend with with your friends enjoy the time you spend with your child if you do have one or with your husband if you do have one you know just enjoy life do not take things way too serious uh the accompanied uh, card here is going to be the lovers the formation it is a uh, active friends that we do have so if you are single uh, these two cards are pointing to very strong presence that you're going to exert really you're going to make impression into someone all right uh, that's uh, it's it's simply going to be attracted to you now is relationship going to happen i don't know i mean it's a very early stage and to be honest i don't like to see the lover's card in a very early stage of forming relationship because it's a very heavy energy i mean in order to overcome this energy and to make it work uh, you uh, if if it is an early stage of relationship you need to be extremely extremely um how do you say when one have solidarity all right you need to be extremely solid Darrow, I don't know how to say it, you know, in toward one another, extremely willing to make a compromises with one another because the lover speaks for big differences that you're going to have, all right? But still, you're going to attract one another, which could speak for true love, you know, because the true love is something you cannot explain, all right? True love is like it's like the color black. Can you explain to me what is color black? Black is black. Well, love is love, all right? You, you can't explain why you are attracted to this person and yet you are attracted to them, okay? But the very least, these two cards here on a positive aspect points that you will have the awareness how to resolve your problems, all of your problems, that is, all right? The problems into your career, the problems into your marriage, the problems with you and that person. However, with the lovers, it doesn't speak that every of these solutions will... Um, will be something you're going to be thrilled to do, but you will become completely aware that it is necessary for your uh, further progress, for your for further, further growth and uh, for, for your harmony in, in your life in general. And so the last card here, it's the guidance that Taro is offering to you, Capricorn, and that is going to be the Four of Cups. So Four of Cups, it does point to that you shouldn't be way too focused on what was back in the days, okay? But instead, uh, you need to open your eyes for the future. That is because when the Four of Cups comes as a, a guidance card, it does point that they are very good opportunities lurking around, but for some reason you are either unwilling or incapable to see it, it is because you are way too stagnated 
for the past. And just to give you an example here, all right? So <clears throat> with the whole reading, so let's say you have an ex which you're trying to get reconciled with and while in the same time, um, okay, you do have a person who have a, a strong impression into you, all right? They, they just want to spend time with you. And at the uh, general topic of the week, you do have an opportunity to further your goal. What is your goal? To be happy, to be loved. Whom with? Well, that doesn't matter really, all right? Or at least it doesn't matter to the universe. So you have a choice to make. Are you going to solve your problem by letting go of your ex and start associating yourself with a new person, which is something you may not like to do, but becoming fully aware that that is really what is going to solve your problem of despondency, okay? Or you will continue on being despondent like the Four of Cups here points. So you need to open your, your eyes for the future instead of being stuck in the past. The accompanied card here is going to be the King of Pentacles formation. It is a um, <clears throat> passive friends. So uh, first of all, with these two cards, the people which are surrounding you, all right, people that are very loyal and faithful to you are going to encourage you to take on this new opportunity. That is the first thing that these two cards are talking about. They are going to help you to overcome that emotional setback, if you want to say it that way. And while in the same time, you will completely become aware that if you don't try, it's never going to happen. If you don't ask, it's the answer always is going to be no. It's, it, it isn't happening. So you will reach to a point of an understanding that at the end of the day, if you don't put effort to escape the poignancy, the despondency or the, the ruin of your life, no one else is going to do it for you. All right. And definitely you cannot enforce a situations here. But what you can do is, you know, take advantage of the new created ones. So that being said, Capricorn, this was your a weekly tarot reading for July 29th to uh, August 4th, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys. And uh, we are going to see each other uh, around. And until then, bye.